So it's been over a month now since I made the video saying that I'm done with Law of Attraction. And since then, there's been uh, tens of thousands of messages that have come through asking me why I'm done with Law of Attraction. Is it that Law of Attraction has stopped working? Is it that uh, you are working on burnout or what's actually going on? And I, I felt compelled to actually finally make this video to at least give you guys an open and honest answer to what actually happened. And so in this video, I decided to break it down into three parts. Why I decided to, to stop producing non-stop back-to-back content on law of attraction. And I believe when I, when I start sharing the final point, it's gonna shock a lot of you. The first reason why I decided to stop teaching law of attraction is because I realized as good as the whole movie, The Secrets, and the book, The Secret, went out and everyone was visualizing things and manifesting things. That's only one part of the spectrum. But there was also millions of people that became lazy because of Law of Attraction. I don't know if you guys can resonate with what I'm saying here, but I would receive, even till today, thousands of messages every single day from a lot of kids who are still at college and they are always asking me, Master, how do I manifest good grades in my exams? I would love to be able to say, tap on your third eye three times and uh, visualize something, but the reality is you gotta study. You gotta put in the hard work. I think when I give that type of response, people usually react and say, well, that's not law of attraction. Well, it is because the word action is involved in attraction. I believe some people become dependent on law of attraction. I'm not saying it's not good. Obviously it works, it's powerful. I've used it, many millions of people around the world have used it and it works, but we cannot become dependent on it because we are physical material and metaphysical. We're spirit in a human body, meaning that can we do spiritual or metaphysical visualization practices and focus our energy differently? Of course we can. But at the same time, to claim our manifestations, you've got to take physical action. You guys just noticed that, didn't you? The light went off. <laughs> I think that's a sign for us to get out of this room. <laughs> uh, actually, it was, it's very cold. I don't know if you guys see, but um, we are in Dubai. It's supposed to be really warm. And I'm wearing like a jacket and all this and people are thinking what's going on but it's because uh, it's uh, they do cloud seeding here. I don't know if you guys heard of it before. Because there's no rain in Dubai. Only in people in UAE will know about this but because there's no rain in Dubai um, they cloud seed and they make the, 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 the fake rain and because it's been raining a lot it's getting cold actually which is quite strange for somebody who lives in the desert. We're talking about point number two, the reason why I decided to stop doing Law of Attraction videos was because there's just too many gimmicks out there right now. Do you know, do you know what I mean by gimmicks? I, like, I started this YouTube channel in, back in 2018 doing Law of Attraction videos and uh, I think even if you search anywhere on YouTube, if you just search Manifestation or Law of Attraction, this channel is probably the one that comes up first every single time. While we've been like teaching genuine breath work stuff, visualization work, meditation stuff, there's just so many up and coming influencers or YouTubers or kids that are coming up into this space, teaching all of these press here, five seconds, press here, seven seconds, spin around anti-clockwise and, you know, do this with the water, do this, tear the paper this way and do it this. And quite frankly, you know, sometimes I look at all these influencers creating this content because of how algorithms work and because of how vulnerable and gullible most people are, they make so many trending videos on how to manifest winning the lottery using law of attraction. I want all of us for a moment to just have a think. How many times do you think that influencer has won the lottery using the law of attraction? I'm saying the ones that are teaching you. And so when I started to see all these people coming up with all these tricks and clickbait titles and all the rest of it, and 
I'm here thinking, dude, <laughs> there is no 2024 law of attraction strategy because it's the same as five years ago or 10 years ago. I think I just felt like, do I really want to be associated with this type of teaching? And that's what it is because it just was no longer fitting in with my authentic self and my belief. Law of attraction to me is, it's, it, there's a foundation behind it. Once you master that foundation, you can manifest anything you want in life. You don't need to start pressing here or pressing there or use this and bend it backwards or it's, it's thoughts, feelings, and actions. And so how many more thousands of videos can I create talking about the same topic over and over again, when I've already created 2,340 uh, uh, videos talking about it. So anyway, you guys take what you want to take from it. But in my personal opinion, the foundations I probably covered a million times already on this channel, and there are no extra gimmicks to it. If you align your thoughts, you align your feelings, you align your actions, you're going to manifest what you want. And the final reason we're going to take outside. This final point is going to shock you. You don't know what's coming. <laughs> I don't believe in the law of attraction anymore. Dun dun dun! I said it. Oh no. <laughs> you know, actually, after my uh, spiritual enlightenment journey up in Himalayas, a lot changed in uh, the way I manifest. And I got to say, I don't do vision boards. I don't do scripting. Well, I, I, I script, but in a completely different way. I don't do the same sleep meditations that is common for most people. And I'll tell you the reason behind it is because actually we don't really attract what we want or even what we are. We don't attract anything for the reason that everything is already done. You see, if you look at it from a scientific point of view, everything is energy and energy is everything. What are your goals? What are your desires? What is the wealth you want? What is the relationship you want? It's energy. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It can only be transferred. So what does this mean? It means that you cannot create a reality. You cannot attract a reality. It doesn't attract like a magnet. It appears. The reality, we do a dimension travel. We do a dimension shift because we are parallel in parallel dimensions at the same time and we are multidimensional beings. Meaning every outcome, good, bad, happy, negative, whatever it is, is already done. And all we are actually doing is we are just shifting our vibrational frequencies. And when we do, our whole reality shifts. A bit like a quantum leap or quantum jump. And so to say that I attract money and I will manifest money to come my way is not true. It's more so when I align my energies in a certain way, then that reality appears. So you are not attracting something that's very difficult. You will only attract what is already done. And the problem is sometimes people fight against the current because they are forever trying to manifest things that maybe don't even destined for them. And that's a whole new topic. And if you guys want to learn about destiny, how is it pre-written? What is actually happening? If you really want me to dive deep on it, then comment below. But if this is making nonsense to you, then there's no point in me making a video on it because you guys are not going to understand what I'm talking about anyway. But these are the three points anyway. So I don't know if this answered your questions. I didn't leave YouTube. Uh, I've still got another channel creating manifestation videos. If you guys want to, you know, make sure it's the first link inside the description. Subscribe to that every day. There's videos there. This on this channel, I just want the most genuine, authentic conversations from now on. And at least then I can share also my personal growth journey and spiritual growth journey with all of you guys in the most authentic way. If you guys just want fun, and laughter and some jokes here and there and just entertainment and covering manifestation over and over again then you can like i said follow my instagram channel follow the second channel and you can find it there other than that thank you guys so much
Thank you for all the support. Thank you for being here always. Thank you for showing so much love and positivity. You guys are absolutely amazing. Send my love and prayers to every single one of you. Hit the like button, comment. Let us know your thoughts if you relate to what I'm saying at all. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Prayers for all of you. Namaste. Namo Himalaya.